I stand before you today as the only candidate who has what it takes to smash this corrupt system. This is a corrupt system. I mean, they go after me. Nobody's ever been gone after like me. I've had that from everybody. Sir, this has never happened to anybody. Now, they'll do it to other people if somebody else is doing what I'm doing, but the other people are going to fold. You know who they are. They're going to fold very quickly. We don't fold. We don't fold our tent and go home. And again, we want to drain the swamp, and I'm the only one that's going to do it. Nobody else is going to do it. We know the competition. We know it. Anyone else will be absolutely ripped to shreds. These are sick, sick, sinister people. It's no wonder the swamp is getting truly desperate as they see us leading big poll after big poll after big poll. In this week's morning consult poll just came out. We lead the field by 34 points with Trump at 56, DeSanctimonious at 22, Pence at seven, Haley at three. In the Clarity Campaign poll, I don't know that poll, but I love it. It's a big deal, actually. A lot of people they interview. We're up by 56 points. Trump is at 69. DeSanctimonious is at 13. Pence is at six. But Pence has gone down since his last Sadly, because he's a nice person. He's trying to get nasty, though, so we may have to fight a different way. All of a sudden, you notice that? It's all of a sudden, you get a little bit nasty, Mike. In the Emerson Poll of Iowa, we love Iowa. Look, we got $28 billion for the farmers from China. Think of it. China gave us $28 billion because they abused our farmers throughout the country. I got them to pay $28 billion for the farmers. And I said, there's no way we're losing Iowa. I don't want to sound too confident. Because strange things happen in politics, like you endorse people and then they run against you two days later. Strange things happen. You endorse people, you get them elected. You get people that had no chance, no chance. They're dead. Their career is over. You get involved, you endorse them, you do other things, you get them up, they win the election in a landslide. And then they say, we're looking forward to running against Trump. Oh, that's nice. Now they're not looking so forward to it anymore. But in the Emerson poll of Iowa, we're leading by 42 points with Trump at 62 percent. And we're leading crooked Joe Biden, most crooked president in the history of our country, by a lot. In the recent Fabrizio swing state poll of Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, we're at almost 50 percent, leading Biden by five. In the ABC Washington Post poll, I'm up by seven points over Biden. And a new poll from Democracy Institute shows I'm the only candidate who beats Crooked Joe. That's hard to believe because, frankly, who the hell wouldn't beat him? The country's going to hell. You know, they have an automatic constituency, the Democrats. It's not that easy. But uh, DeSanctis loses to them by a lot. With each passing day, more Americans are joining our patriotic movement. Together, we have achieved more than any person ever thought possible. And this was from 2016. When I announced in 2015, everyone said, oh, what? he has no experience. And they were right about that, actually. <laughs> the hell did I know? I said, where the hell is China? And then I proceeded to take more money out of China's hide than any president in this. <laughs> but we delivered the largest tax cuts and regulatory cuts in history more so than the Reagan tax cuts, which were great. We built the greatest economy in the history of the world. We achieved energy independence, soon to be energy dominance, for the first time in 64 years. And gas prices were at $1.87 a gallon. We actually had them lower than that for a little while, but I had to get them up. We were going to lose the oil companies. They were going so low, they were getting, cre they were getting killed. But now they want to give you all electric cars. Isn't that wonderful? So you, you feel, does anybody want to drive for an hour and then wait four hours to get a recharge? 
We'll end that. First day in office, I'll be ending all of that. You want an electric car? That's great. But if you want other types of vehicles where you can actually drive for a long period of time, that's good, too. You're going to be able to have your choice. And if you want a gas stove or an electric stove, you're going to have your choice. And if you want to have a dishwasher that actually lets water come out, you know, I did that. The people came to see me, wonderful people, Whirlpool, and some people they, from Ohio. I love Ohio. We won Ohio so big. Those people are great in Ohio. Very much like you, actually. Great people. And they said, sir, China and South Korea are dumping washing machines. They're dumping dryers. They're dumping everything. They're killing us. We're going to probably go out of business. I met with the chairman of the company, and I said, wow, that's not good. And I put a big, fat tariff of 50 percent on all of that stuff. And now they're one of the most thriving companies in the country. They were going to go out. That's one of the reasons they like me in Ohio. But we saved it. They were really — they were doing it. They were selling machines that weren't as good, but they were selling machines — machines for so little that uh, it was very unfair. And I think they were doing it on purpose to drive them out. You know what they do? They drive them out of business, then they quadruple the price, and you have to buy their product because you have no choice. I mean, I can't believe they get away with this stuff. But we don't get away with it with us.